Hello, handsome. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> what? You don't condone kisses. Well, if my brain ain't paining me, I can remember vividly someone was so crazy about me last night. Exactly. Last night. Not this morning, not today. Look, I know you woke up from the wrong side of the bed. Or rather, the couch. Which is in fact why I came to you. So, why did you sleep on the couch? And you didn't sleep with me on the bed? I don't share the bed overnight with the conquest. Conquest? What did you think this was? You think it was more than a one night stand? I don't get you women. Someone spends time with you, you have a good time, and next thing you begin to revolve your life around this person. You, you know what? I just, I'm gonna go shower. Just get your things and leave my apartment, okay? You were sick in the head. Yes! Look, I'm going to shower. By the time I get back, all right? I don't want to see you in this room. And if I do, I will throw you out, even if you're wearing just pants. Hey, look at this stupid man. Do I look like a prostitute to you? You know what? Did you pick me up from a club or a roadside? That you want to treat me like a trash? OK, that's it. That's what? Out. Listen. No, no, do, do not, do not touch me. Where's your bag? I'm not going anywhere if you don't explain. No, you listen to me. You can't treat me like this. I'm not, Out. I'm not trash. Outside. Do I look like a... No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can lock the stupid dog yours by yourself. Is it in my battery drains? Don't, don't, don't bother me. Ah. Sheree. The one you haven't bothered to call since the last time we saw. No, no, babe, babe. It's been hectic. It's been terrible. I, look, I've, I've just been very, very busy. I've missed you, and I know you missed me more. I'm just heading to work, but I can call in sick and come over, you know, for some No, no, I'm, I'm not at home, babe. Huh? What did you say? I meant I'm out of town. I went for a meeting. Okay, then. That's fine. How about I come over at the close of work? No. When I say out of town, I mean that I'm out of Lagos, went for a meeting, and I don't know when I'm done, but trust me, whenever I'm done, you are the first person I'm going to see, okay? And give you some self. I can spend the night. All right, babe. Um, look, I, I have to go now, because I have to step out of the meeting to talk to you. Right, so I'll call you, yeah? I miss you so bad. All right, babe. All right. And I can't wait for you.
Yo, Nibo. Nibo. Eric. Hey, man, how far now? Uh, <clears throat> look, there is an emergency, okay? What? Emergency? I'm coming out. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, it's a personal emergency, okay? Um, I need you to open the front door quietly. Okay, okay, no problem. Move your door now. I beg, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming right now. Quietly. It's all like it was on a merger, so are we safe? Yeah, I'm okay, man. I'm okay, I'm safe. A ah, nice apartment, man. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, uh, not so much. There's just... There's this chick out there that I, I don't really want to see. Yeah, I mean, she called me, I told her I wasn't available, and then I'm walking back into the compound, and I see her right there. Comfortable waiting for me. Your chick. When did you start avoiding women? Oh, come on, it's you, Eric. It's not every time you want to do or be with a woman. Sometimes you just want to chill. It's one of those days, but I'm not in the mood, right? I, I just, no. Oh, then why don't you just go out there and tell her plainly that you don't like her? What? Mm -hmm. When? What planet are you from? Planet Earth. Uh, and sincerely, I think being honest is always the way to go, especially when it comes to dealing with women, relationships, you know. I you know you're a relationship advisor. You want me to go outside there and tell Susan that, hey, Susan, look, I just want us, you know, just, you just be my booty goal. No, no, come on. Look, there are babes you can do that with. But you see, Susan? She's my friend's best friend's buddy. Yeah. And from experience, she's crazy. Hmm. As in, she has scroll scroll. Really? Yeah, man. Uh -uh. Check this out, yeah? In my old apartment, I was coming back from an art exhibition and I realized that my house was open. This girl had broken into my apartment. So I met her laying naked, just waiting. Just imagine somebody breaks into this house, you come back and you see somebody naked on your bed. Oh, Lordy, that must have been a scary experience. Mm -mm. <laughs> was I shocked? Oh, yes, absolutely. But was I scared? <laughs> nah. I mean, who would be scared to see a sexy vixen like Susan laying on the bed naked? Nobody. Nobody No, no, just speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I'm because... not even done. Before I even said pim, these people was all over me. Before I knew it was happening, everything was where it was supposed to be, in there, out there, you know. Oh, you I mean, no man can say no to sex. You know that. No, why don't you just say, Eric cannot turn down a sexual offer because I would have. Anyway, um, part of oh, my... Wait, 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 wait. Are ah. you a virgin? Oh, no, you saw me. Part of my manners, I also have offered you some drinks. I, I think I'm, I'm out of drinks at the moment. But, uh, maybe... I mean, it's all down the road and I can just take a stroll. No, 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 there's no way I'm cleaning up your mess on your own. Just check, I'm not even seeing you talk, so I just... What do you drink? Anything? Just... Anything. Anything. Just, Anything. Most important is just, you know what, just look, just look at her side. If she's there, just, you know, I mean, let me know what you give her. Just. Virgin. Hey, hello. Excuse me. Hi. Um, I've seen you around a couple of times, so I presume you stay around? Yes. Okay, great. Um, I'm actually looking for the occupant of that flat. Have you seen him around? No, I haven't seen him recently. Not today? 
Not yesterday. Are you sure? Okay, thank you. She's gone. Hmm? I saw her leaving on my way to get in the beers. She's left. <sighs> Thanks, man. You saved your soul. <laughs> no Thank worries. you so much, man. Yo, I'm just gonna go shower and watch this in my apartment. So thank you for this, because you got it because of me. Oh, mate. You know. Thank you, man. You're actually the one with the square square. Ever thought of that? <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, while I was seated here, you know, I just realized that since I moved into this apartment two months ago, this is the first time we're having a real conversation. No, you know why? What? You are very, very busy, man. Busy with them booties. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. I owe you one, my G. Appreciate it. I owe you. Good night, neighbor. Yo, 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 yo. It's late day. About to hit the street. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning, my man. What's going on? I guess this is how you deceive all the ladies. Nah, nah, nah. Point of correction. I don't deceive anyone. I tell them exactly what it is. Oh. No strings attached. Oh, but they all still believe they're in a relationship. Uh, but I'm responsible for what I say, not what they believe. But you know now, when it's uh, good, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> they begin to believe what is not as though it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're just so impossible to tackle. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> well, um, I really got to go now. I don't want to be late. I have a very big day at work today. Same here. I need to go deliver this artwork and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So yeah, have a good day. Alrighty then. Don't you look before you leap? And you can see it's an honest mistake. Are you utterly mannerless? <laughs> I didn't know I was invincible. I, I didn't know you couldn't see me. Do you know what? I'm sorry, okay? Fine, that's all I needed to hear. Are you satisfied now? Oh, depending on if that is a very sincere apology, yes, I am. Let me, let me help you. Excuse me, please. Are you taking the piss? You bumped into me. I'm the one who's supposed to be angry and, 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 and you... And I would you... rather dine with the devil. You are one rude human being. Hey, hey excuse me. What's, what's going on here? What's going on? Is that you should tell this utterly mannerless human being that that's no way to talk to a lady. And the next time he tries it, I'll deal with him. Excuse me. She's rude. Yeah, I know she's rude. What are you doing here? And what was that all about? I came here to uh, deliver some artwork. When I was done with my client, I was heading back to the car, and I bumped into her, and she just started acting up. Just like that. Yeah, I mean, when she bumped into me, I, maybe I was kind of rude, but that doesn't mean that she should speak to me anyhow. The way she spoke, no, yo, no woman, and I mean literally, no woman has ever spoken to me that way, except my mother. 
Wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second. I think I know why you're angry. You're angry because, unlike every other woman that has come your way, this one seems to be particularly immune to all your charms. Nobody's immune. Because everybody has a weakness. You just need to find it and make use of it. No. No, 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 no. I totally disagree. Not this one. This one is a tough nut to crack. I guarantee that. Why? Well, for Stylus is my colleague in the office. She's one of the sharpest brains the company has ever witnessed. Super smart ass lady. She single handedly developed a fintech investment app that everyone is going gaga about right now. And so? Well, that means she's entirely not on your league. As since it's 100% not your type. As since she's way too smart for your fine boy gimmicks and schemes. Ah. Get that? Yeah. So I suggest you turn left. I would rather die with the devil. Since you said you'd rather eat with the devil, I decided to buy you food. Ma, I tried to stop him. It's okay. Thank you. Hey, 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 why are you sitting? We don't have any appointment that I remember. I'm just trying to stay out of your way so you don't bump into me, since I am invincible. Listen, Mr. Man, can you get up and get yourself out of this office before I get security to throw you out? My name is Eric. I am an innocent man who's trying to make amends for my behavior the other time. Now, there's a thing my mother always says. She says that a good food is the best to mend broken bridges. So, I got you some food. Well, this bridge doesn't need to be mended. So, once again, can you get up and take this your bridge mending food and get the hell out of my office before I get security to throw you out? Get out! Okay. Okay. I will leave. All right. All right. Abba! Just take your food with you. Okay, now this is my peace offering. And I'm just saying I'm sorry for being a jerk. Emma! Come here now. Oh, Anna, darling, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good morning, Ma. Morning. Oh, welcome. <laughs> thank you. The necklace is so nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's this? Um, they were delivered uh, for you this morning. Um, I think there's a card attached. It's fine. You can go. Yes. Flowers were delivered for you today. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. Uh, but there's a card attached. Throw it in the trash. Excuse me. Are ma? you deaf? I said throw it in the trash. That's where it belongs. Excuse yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Let's go.
Good morning, madam. Look, you have to stop delivering these flowers. No, madam, I can't. It's already been paid for. The only person that can stop me is my client. So you mean these flowers are going to be delivered every day? Oh, yes, madam, every day. Do you know where the sender lives? Oh, yes. His address and phone number is in the card in there. You too. Bye. Hopefully that solves that. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. So my name is Sunday. And I work with Kiki Florals as a delivery man. Right. Um, the floral company I subscribe to. So I asked you guys to deliver flowers to a particular address for the next few weeks. Is yes, there a sir. problem? Not at all. Not at all. Right. Actually, um, the lady I did deliver the flowers to asked me to deliver this note to you, sir. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank um, you. Well, uh, Thank you. Bye, sir. Yeah, bye. I can't believe we chatted for more than 30 minutes. Yep, with me it's never a dull moment. You can't, you can't be dull now. It's 30, what's 30 minutes? Yeah, so proud. 
No, no, no. I am not proud. I am just confident. That is one of my strongest qualities. Well, when you put it that way... Mm. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are you doing the rest of the day? After work? <laughs> <coughs> And why haven't you been answering the intercom? Uh, my, I didn't hear it ring. What if it's an important client calling? You know we're not meant to miss any calls, because any missed call can actually make or mar us. I'm sorry, ma'am. And you're not meant to receive personal phone calls during office hours. You know this. Yes, ma'am. Don't let it repeat itself again. I saw that you used my picture on your WhatsApp status. Any reason why? Are um, we celebrating anything? No, no, ma. The pictures were really nice and they were so lovely. I couldn't resist. <laughs> you should change it. That's an old one. Yes, ma. Um, not right now. You can't tell me why. Work stuff. But, Julie... Please stop calling me that. Sis, so you are still talking to this man? Greg, I just didn't want him to feel bad that his flowers were being wasted every day. And to be honest, eh? I've even sent him a note asking him to stop sending flowers, but this stubborn man just won't listen. So ordinary SMS, and you guys are talking like lovebirds already. That's not even the worst part. Right now, he wants to see me. Sis, well, you know he's not you he wants to see. You Stupid. think I don't know that? So. Look, I don't, I don't even know how upset he's going to be when he realizes that it's me he's been talking to all along and not Jubilee. See, at, at the end of the day, Jubilee doesn't even want his flowers or his love. What am I going to do? See, this is, I think you should just open up to him. Tell him the truth and see, bear the consequences. Nothing will happen, you will not die. As last as I don't know, I don't know how, but I feel that's the best thing you should do. Greg, I don't think that's a good idea. What, what else do you think? You Come on idea? now. I don't, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Look, this is why nobody asks you for any advice. You don't have sense. Come on, come on, come on, what should I do? You can't even say, you can't even I've say anything my own sensible. Uh, me, I've said my own, no. please. Oh. The competitors are slowly closing in. Yes, I know, but the blue ocean. Hey, hi, hi guys. So, uh, beautiful. Since you said that your day can go from bland to fab if you have a pizza, I didn't bring you a pizza, but your whole box. What's this? What in the name of whatever you serve is this rubbish that you're doing? I'm sorry if I didn't knock, but I, I didn't see your secretary at the desk. So what? Does that give you the right to barge into my office unannounced? Would you believe please calm No, down. please don't ask me to calm down. This guy is fast running into a stalker. Hey, hey. What do you mean? We've been speaking for the entire week. Me and you speak. He, he... Are you sick in the head? Um, Ma, maybe he's in the wrong office or maybe he has you mixed up with someone else. Whatever this is, I don't want to see him anywhere near me or this office again. Get out. Sir.
take it easy, Jubilee. So that's what we're saying. The blue ocean strategy. Please just go fix this. So, you mean all this time you and Jubilee have been conversing over the phone and yet she threw you out of the office today? I'm being very serious. We have been talking. I believe even you don't know how ludicrous your story sounds. Um, the Jubilee I know won't talk to you one minute and show you out the next minute. Well, who knows? Maybe you're just building this fantasy in your head simply because you can't have her. Why are you calling me? I'm really sorry about what happened today. I still can't wrap my head around it. Um, actually, look, I really don't like mixing work and pleasure together. Besides, okay. I was having a really no. bad day. Jubilee. I thought I told you to stop calling me that. You were actually a very funny person. Isn't that your name? Why don't you try to be more romantic, you know? Just call me something special. <laughs> and I'm going to need you to stop coming to the office. We can see anywhere else but the office. Okay, so how about lunch tomorrow? Oh, I'm busy tomorrow. Maybe some other time. But you just you just said that. Look, I've got to go. I'll, I'll talk to you later. What did she say? She was having a bad day. Oh, yeah. Um, some clients pulled out on us today in the office. We were actually brainstorming on how best to handle the situation before you walk by. But first things first. Do you really love Jubilee? This is just one of your games. I don't know if uh, I don't know if this is love, but I just find myself drawn to her, you know. And from our conversations, we share similar interests. Baby, food is getting ready. You know you need your energy and a hundred tonight. Um, I'm not gonna be able to eat because I, I need to rush out right now. But we're supposed to spend the night together. 
Susan, look, um, I apologize if it feels like I led you on. I guess you're looking for this. Get dressed and leave my house. Shut the door behind you. <laughs> Eric. Hey, Jubilee. Hey. Do you have a minute? Yeah, sure. Come on in. What's up? I'm okay. <sighs> um, Jubilee. I've known and worked with you for two years thereabout. And I can say for certain that you're one of the most brilliant women I have encountered in my entire lifetime. Thank you. You're welcome. But permit me to say that this time, I think you're acting foolish. Excuse you. Eric. Eric. Oh, come on. Don't give me that face. I know you're both seeing each other. What are you talking about? You and Eric are dating. Although it hurts, but... I guess what I can say is you need to be very careful. I've lived with this guy for some months now and I can beat my chest and say categorically that he's a chronic womanizer. Are you done? Yes. Okay, let me bust your bubble. I am not seeing him. I don't know what he's told you. I guess his ego has been trampled upon since I refused his advances of flowers and gifts and everything. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Are you saying you and Eric are not dating each other? No. And you're not exchanging phone calls and text messages? no! That's cunning and great. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, don't break the door. Thank you very much. Who is that? Who is... Oh, Chooks. Alpha now. Yeah. I'm good. Eric. What's going how on? How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. You want uh, anything to drink? Sure. Anything. Okay. How's work? Uh, work is fine. The usual, usual. You know what I mean, right? I don't know what you're talking about. So when I ask you how's work, I'm, I really don't care how's work with you. I'm asking, how is Jubilee? Because the thing is, she doesn't want me to come visiting her at the office, and she sounds really occupied, so we can't even hang out. It's, I don't know. Really? So, Eric, when are you going to stop all this pretense? I mean, you've created a self-made fantasy in your head. When are you going to stop all this? I don't understand. What do you mean? I was a Jubilee. We spoke today and she didn't mention anything about you calling her or she calling you. So. What makes you think that she doesn't want to separate her love life from her work life. Why am I supposed to think that? Because that's what she said. It hurts, I know, I know it hurts you really, really bad. That you finally fall in love with somebody like Jubilee, only for you to realize she doesn't feel the same for you. All right, Chooks, get out of my house. Get out. You know, if you'll take my word, I would advise you to stop living in this fantasy and stop acting like a child that has been deprived of his mother's breast. Chooks, I say get out of my house. Yeah, of course. I'm not inviting you here again. Just get out. Out. I'll leave. So, what's the special occasion? Nothing really. I 
I just wanted you to be happy. Jimmy, you're a workaholic. You resume earlier than most. You close very late every day. Come on. You flatter me, Chips. Believe me when I say it, because I speak the truth. Well, work keeps me going, so... I know. So tell me, do you even have a life outside work? Yeah, I mean, I, I Like, try. I mean, what is that thing that you wish you had more time for? Baking. Baking? Yeah, I love to bake, so if I wasn't a software developer, I'll definitely be a baker. That's interesting. Hey, listen. Thanks for today. The boat cruise, the dinner. It's really awesome. Thank you. I should be saying thank you because you let me put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. But I have one more thing. Although not today, but when I'm ready, I'll let you know. Okay. So listen up. <laughs> Is the food coming? Yeah, it's coming. We're waiting. Uh. What are you doing here? Maybe if Mr. Eric had bothered taking my calls or even replying my messages, I won't be here unannounced. Mm. Oh. Get your hands off me, I beg. Eric. If you behave yourself and you promise not to cause a scene or go crazy on me, maybe I will let you in. There's a woman inside the Abbey. And that's why I'm not letting me go in. Susan, there is no woman inside there, okay? Look, things have changed. I'm a different person. I am now in a relationship, which means one man, one woman. A relationship. <laughs> You're joking. Susan, Susan. <laughs> Eric and a relationship. How does that even go? How possible is that? Eric, you can't be in love. Mm -hmm. Susan, look, I, I really don't know what you want or what you don't understand. But everything we had in the past, everything, all the love making, all the sex, everything, I'm done. It's over. I'm, it's different now, yeah? So just respect Eric, yourself. Just a week ago, you were, all you wanted was me, yeah? You said you wanted Susan around you and you wanted to be with me. And you wanted all of me. And I give you all that. You know, I'm the only woman who can tolerate your essences. <laughs> so, when you wake up from your daydream, from this euphoria that you have, find your way out of my compound. Really? Yes. Eric, you're joking. Yo, listen to me. Do not call me. Do not text me. Do not Instagram me. Do not WhatsApp me. Do not FaceTime me. Move on with your life. And don't come looking for me because this is not a hostel. I am not your child. That's not possible. All right. Have a good life. Eric. I'm releasing the dogs. <laughs> situation is really eating you up. Don't you think you should come up with the truth and free yourself at least? And risk losing my job. <sighs> my job? What? You're losing your mind now. Come on, it's not that serious now. 
But if you can't tell your boy to why don't you just open up to the money on this with that your and a not jubilee? And you don't think he's going to hate me because I was trying to deceive him? Okay, what are you going to do now? I'm still thinking about it. I'll figure something out. Really? Are you sure? Because I'm really Please worried. Go and I'm dress worried up. about you and Please. I'm fine. See? I'm good. Okay, she says so. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Jubilee, your countenance seems to beg the question. What's the matter? It's nothing, it's just work related, but I'll be fine. Is this something you want to talk about? I mean, it's okay. It's just that um, that new app we're developing, the, the app tech, it's, it's beginning to pose a lot of problems for, for job money. No, no, I'm not serious. You know what? It's okay. It's just all. It's just well, all crazy. Don't be like that. It's business. Challenges, they always come. But what matters is how you tackle them with grit and strength, with the right determination. Now, promise me you stop worrying. I will try. Put heads together to make sure you're still on top of the market. Deal? Deal. No, that's the Jubilee I know. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. So, what do you think about uh, the third one? Well, it's. Let's be frank about this. You know you're the master, I'm just a sidekick. <laughs> but I need your ideas as well. So. Okay, so since you asked. Assuming. Just assuming you are the opposition right now. The green one will definitely put us on the edge. The standards? Yep. And this is the part where the director should cut us. Oh. What they want. To the one who taught me how to love. I hope you love your gifts. E, sounds like a hopeless romantic. And I hope someone is referring to me. <laughs> you wish. Hey, listen, I was looking for you to discuss the philia. Yeah, and I'm done with the presentation. It's actually on your decks. Okay, do you want to show me and discuss it? Sure. Okay. And hey, you, I pay you to work. Do just that, and you can do this after work. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Who's that? Come in. Hey, you. Can I come in? Yeah. Sure, why not? Thank Please you. come in. Wow. Nice place you have here. Thank you. Just have a oh, seat. Thank you. 
I'm sorry to bother you. You know, Eric asked me to get him banana bread, and I've been knocking on his door, but no response. Oh, have you tried calling his phone number? Yes, I did. But um, my phone battery died. Um, I don't know how I can help you here because I actually do not have his phone number. Okay, that's fine. He's probably stuck in traffic or something. Um, you know, he actually sent me a text earlier saying that he was going to be at the office of one Jubilee. Did you say he texted you that it was at Jubilee's office? Yes, he did. When was that? This morning. I would have shown you the text, but then my phone battery is dead. Um, anyways, I should be leaving now. Um, I don't know if you have an idea of where the address of this Jubilee's office is. Yes, I do. Okay. That's where I work. Okay. You know what, just put in your phone number, I'll send your address to you. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. This is it. I just knew you were going to be really useful. Thank you. Eric with Jubilee. What the heck is going on? Madam, please, this is against office protocols. You can't just barge in here like this. And if you don't shut up that silly mouth of yours, I'm going to shut it up with a hey, very excuse flag. me. Under no circumstances are you allowed to speak to my staff in that manner. And I take it you're the so-called Jubilee that has been trying to destroy what I have built for years, yeah? Who the hell are you and what are you talking about? I am Susan, Eric's lover. I mean, Eric's lover for two whole years. And you, who are you? Security, please come to my office right away. You know what? You haven't seen the last of me. Trust me when I say you haven't seen the last of me. Susan. You know her? Yeah, sure I do. That's one of Eric's numerous girlfriends. <clears throat> Please, excuse me. What's she doing here? Search me. That lady's trouble. Thanks for today. 
Oh, you're thanking me? <laughs> I should be the one thanking you for agreeing to go out with me. <laughs> you made my day. <sighs> Jubilee. I'm about to say something, but I've always been shy about it. I've never found the courage. But the thing is, I've always had this crush on you. And I never knew how to say it. It's, it's, it's quite funny how it took the stunts that Eric was pulling for me to realize that if I don't tell you how much I feel about you, I'll probably lose you. And I don't want to lose you. I don't know. Um. Thanks for airing out your feelings, but um, let's see how it goes. One, one day at a time. I'm not completely ready yet, so. Can I get a hug or a peck? Sure. Oh. Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hello, hey. darling. How do you do? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I just thought I should let you know what your sweetheart has been up to. Mm -hmm. What's in the hell? <laughs> that's your sweetheart, and that's what she's been up to. Can I have my phone? My phone, please. What? Thank you. <laughs> someone I am in love with, you try to ruin it. What the freaking hell are you talking about? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? He's talking about these pictures of you and Jubilee. I'm speechless. Eric, it's, it's, it's not I'm what speechless. you think. It's not what you think. Just calm down. Jubilee has told you severally that she doesn't want to be with you. How difficult can it be for you to just let the lady be? Leave her alone. Just shut up. Just shut up. Jubilee is in love with me. We were completely fine until recently she sent me a message telling me to stay away. Without any reason. But of course now, I've seen this picture. I now know why she would ask me to stay away. Is that what you think this is? All you took out to clear her head. After Susan had embarrassed her in the office yesterday. And the picture was taken when we hugged. We didn't even kiss. Have a closer look. Wait a minute. Did you just say Susan was at the office? I 
don't get it. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm already inside. Mm. Oh. I see. Hold on a second. Um, can you get me slippers from the car? I'm tired of wearing the heels. Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm in here. I didn't see you. I'm in the restaurant. Where are you? Hi. Um, I thought this was meant to be a lunch date. Why do you have company? You also have company. I saw you walking here with your secretary a while ago. Um, well, yeah, that's because I have um, a business meeting with Afri Invest immediately after the lunch date. So. Are you bipolar? Are you crazy? No, because it's crazy how you can sit here and pretend like you don't know that we know that you're dating these two guys sitting in front of you. <laughs> Just lying and pretending. Eric and I already know you've been using us. Using you how? I told you she's bipolar. Definitely. You deserve an Oscar. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. You said it's, it's you. It's me, who, who are you? Samson D, the delivery man from Kiki's Florals. Right, okay. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Mm. I'm still in the business of delivering flowers to love Right, oh, okay. nice, good. Just saw Madame by the stairs. Hope things are going on well for you, sir. Which Madame? Madame Jubilee, the one I usually deliver flowers to. Here she is. Madam Judith. Please. No, please. I, I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to what? Impersonate me? No, no, ma. I'm very sorry. Please I... keep that sorry for the labor market because you and I are done. Ma, please. This job is all I have. Don't... Get away from me, ma. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. So you are the jubilee that I have been chatting with, texting with, talking to on the phone? Right? I can't believe this. You mean she's not the one? <laughs> one does shall never happen. Look at us! For this crying, it's it's been over a week now. You still at this? Come on. <laughs> so ashamed. <laughs> you see, what you did was totally wrong. But you shouldn't have actually dragged this issue this long. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but do you think if? If maybe I told him that I am an ordinary secretary, do you think he would have still wanted me? Nobody knows, but still, <laughs> I need you. You need to get yourself together. You've been, this, you've been crying. You can't keep crying forever now. You can't keep crying forever. I need my sister back. I have you crying all the time. Please now, stop, stop this crying now. Just missed everything now. <laughs> Please, please, man. just get yourself together. You can't keep playing like this. Please. <laughs> oh, 
so. Uh, listen, listen, bro, Eric. For how long are you going to continue wallowing in this pity party of yours? I mean, she's just an ordinary secretary who was impersonating a boss. Probably for financial gain. <clears throat> I don't agree with that. She never asked me for a dime. Okay, so maybe she was playing the long game, trying to earn your trust. Nah. Look, I've been with so many women that I know... I know their intent from the onset, so I know who is with me to chop my money or not, right? But this one is different, man. Our conversations were completely different. Mystery? Or is it the fact that you now know she's not the one that you thought she was? It's more like I've never had such good conversations with any lady. It felt good. Enough of me. Uh, how was Jubilee? Oh yeah, Jubilee. Well, she traveled. Right. Just a short trip to meet with some investors for our app. So she'll be back soon. I wasn't talking about work. I was talking about both of you. How, how are you? Well, apart from the fact that she was angry, that I thought she was capable of two-timing both of us, died down. Um, she has returned back to her romantic self, so we're good. You're a lucky guy. I'm a lucky man, right? <laughs> Come on, guy, cheer up. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. See, I'm having my bath. Greg! Oh, I think it's another flower delivery. Please, go and get the door. Is this your guy safe, man? Eh? Ah. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry, I. Oh, I'm going to see you in there. Please, I think the delivery guy bust himself. Oh, maybe you should go check it out. What 
he doing here? Anna, please can you open the door? Look, I can't face you right now. Oh, I feel so silly. I was just trying to help. I, anything I did, it was not out of malicious intent. Look, I, I know how it feels to, to love someone and not be loved in return. So, when I saw the flowers being thrown into the waste bin every day, I felt like I had to do something. Anna, please, please, can you just open the door? Where are you running to? You want to open the door now, and when he leaves, you regret not knowing why he came. I I thought to bring this myself. And I just wanted to ask you, can we start this afresh? Like on a clean slate? From the beginning? Can we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brother. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. First flower. Official. You know, I was a kid for the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared of a man. I was a scared of a man. Right. I was a scared of a man. Right. Ah, uh, <sighs> uh, yeah. So, um. Yep, it's a beautiful place. I smell the food. <laughs> uh, where do we sit? Um. Here? Here yeah, works. Yeah. Because you are beautiful. You have to be in the center <laughs> of the world. Thank you. Good morning. So, uh, I suck at um, making choices on the menu. Okay. Um, what about the salad? Okay, if that's what you want. Um, don't just have it in my head. Thank you. <sighs> um, thank you for forgiving me. Why are you thanking me? Are you thanking me for choosing my happiness over some sea <laughs> hanger? <laughs> well, if, <laughs> if you put it that way, <laughs> yes. Happiness first. Um, you know that this uh, this restaurant is technically the first place we are meeting. Yeah, because this is the first place I got to know you. Or I'm getting to know you. <laughs> True. Hello. I love you. You don't have to say anything. I'm not saying that so you can be uncomfortable. I'm, I'm just saying exactly how I feel. All right? And you don't have to feel that way just yet. I think you're getting too much. I think, I think I'm getting too much. <laughs> <clears throat>
Thank you. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah, it does. I'll, I'll wait for you. No, no, go ahead. You can... It's fine. Can eat along. It's fine. Okay, there you go. So, my didn't come with all the all the sauce and everything. Just thank you so much. Right, so we're going to dig. You want to pray? Okay. There's a new one for this guy. The um, angels um, what's it called? Olympicus Volin. There's a mm -hmm. new one coming out. Angels. Okay, it's not like you're about to swallow me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you going to have for dinner? Baby, I'm not in the mood for pizza. Okay. So what do you want to have for dinner? I mean, I can make something for you. <laughs> Anybody that hears you talking now will think you're one a la carte chef. <laughs> You know that anything you are good for is noodles and fries. <laughs> <laughs> but you love my noodles. You love me chopping everything and dicing everything. Mm. You can't deny it. Just a little bit. Just, hey. Just a little bit. <laughs> Even when I put vitamin E. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're not going to manage or eat my noodles, mm. what do you want to have for dinner? Um... To be honest, I really don't know, but um, just something light, really, because, you know, I have the interview tomorrow, right? and I really don't want to go there and start sleeping, so I'll just have something light. light. Yes. Like, light. Yeah. Like something really light. Mm -hmm. Like, just a sip of something. It's light as... That was light. Yeah. It could have been heavier than that, man. What are you gonna eat? Let's just watch TV, we'll figure something out. Next time you're young, you're gonna swallow. <laughs> then I won't be able to make anything for you. <laughs> you know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something I can rustle up for you. That is not noodles and fries. Okay. Thank you. Last card. Last card too. Okay, wait. If I win this game, what is the prize? What do I get? Okay. I don't know why you think you're winning, but what do you want? <laughs> I want a full body massage. Deep tissue. <laughs> okay. And if I win, what do I get? You can't win now. <laughs> okay, if you win, what do you want? What do you want to say? Um, let me see. Anything to say. You make dinner. Uh huh. Dinner. That's that's what you want. Yes. Last card. Mm -hmm. Check up. What massage? I don't understand. Go and get a masseuse job. That's what. No, no, no. We, 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 we had, we had wait, an agreement. Wait, we, wait, wait. Well, wait, wait. We had an agreement. No, wait. So just, you see, see. I'm going, to, I'm going to lie down now, yeah? Exactly. <laughs>
First met. I never thought in my life I'll ever do this. I never thought that I'll be on my knees and I'll be asking anyone. We met in, in the most unconventional way. I was talking with someone else, but I was falling in love with your personality. I thought you were perfect. And I loved you. But then I realized you were not perfect. And I loved you more. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to see the world with you. I want to have children with you. I want to get fat with you. <laughs> I want to live my best life with you, you know? So I'm asking you, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Come, 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 come. Thank Congratulations, you. my darling. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Nice one, my G. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Brethren. Nice one, bro. Um, how did you sneak into my room? Special thanks to your brother here. Snuck me in. <laughs> Great. Nice. I really have to stop sleeping like a log of Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Jubilee. Without you, none of this would have happened. And without you, Chicks and I would never have discovered each other. So. <laughs> Mother. <Cheers. laughs> Woo! Selfie, selfie, oh, selfie. Yes. oh, it's a single snow. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. Selfie time. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Bye.